Man, South Park is hilarious, but it's so offensive. Can we say any of this? You're dead to me, Kyle. Well, okay, whatever. It's the home of the weird, funny, and playfully offensive. Hey guys, I'm Rebecca from Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best secondary characters from South Park. Are you a fan of South Park? Well, you're in the right place. We have a ton of videos, from the best South Park celebrity impersonations oh my God, it's Russell Crowe! to the worst things Eric Cartman has ever done. Lots of options for that list. Yeah, 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 yeah. I made you eat your parents. Be sure to check out the link in the description for our playlist on everything South Park. That is huge. There are so many great characters living in this quiet little mountain town that are not named Stan, Kyle, Kenny, or Cartman, and today we're giving them their due. But we are only counting characters from the TV show. Also, if you love South Park as much as I know you do, be sure to check out our South Park playlist. Let's get to it. What? Can I go, Del? Yes, yes, I'm sorry. Weirdo. Number 10, Terrence and Philip. Hey, Terrence, I think I have to fart. Wait, before you do, pull my phone. One of the many awesome things about South Park is that many of the gags work at several levels. Voiced by Matt Stone and Trey Parker, Terrence and Philip are the stars of a popular Canadian comedy show primarily consisting of juvenile humor. Say, Terrence, I was just about to make some craft dinner. Would you like some? You know I never turn down craft dinner, Philip. <laughs> <laughs> While the kids love Terrence and Philip, parents hate the comedy duo with a fiery passion, which reflects the way many adults dismiss South Park itself. Terrence and Philip are simultaneously hilarious, meta, and iconic, showing that you're never too old to giggle at a well-written fart joke. That fart was absolutely ghoulish, Terrence. <laughs> Number 9. Jimmy Vollmer. Kaboom! Yeah. Kaboom! You can never have too much of a good thing, and Jimmy exemplifies this motto. Initially introduced as a one-off character to rival South Park's other physically impaired resident, Jimmy was popular enough to warrant a recurring role. Arguably the most optimistic person in the series, Jimmy is constantly striving to prove the doubters wrong, even if that entails cheating at the Special Olympics. In lesser hands, Jimmy may have been a one-joke character, but South Park created a foul-mouthed comedian who's much more than meets the eye. Say, Eric, do you like fish sticks? Number 8. PC Principal I'm here because this place is lost in a time warp. He might not represent South Park at its subtlest, but he is damn hilarious. As the name suggests, PC Principal satirizes so-called social justice warriors, and in introducing the character, South Park pulls none of its punches. Liable to fly off into a tirade at the smallest indiscretion, PC Principal starts out as a violent villain who tries to ruin the South Park experience we've all come to love. Eventually, PC Principal reveals a few extra dimensions and becomes a genuinely fascinating character, particularly once Vice Principal Strongwoman enters the scene and romance blooms between the two progressive yet obnoxious characters. They're so strong, like their mother. They're so PC, like whoever their father is. Number 7. Mr. Mackey See, no, no matter how mean the other kids are to you, just don't retaliate. You be passive, okay? Underneath this counselor's boring green shirt, blue jeans, and thinning hair, rests a tormented hoarder aching to lash out at anyone unfortunate enough to get in the way. Mr. Mackey stands out as one of South Park's competent adults, although the educator has steadily grown more unhinged with each passing season. Season 14's In Sheepshin dives deep into Mr. Mackey's painful childhood, although the counselor is primarily known for adding the phrase okay to the end of every sentence. In South Park, normal is relative, and Mr. Mackey set the standard. Uh, if you do them, you're bad, because drugs are bad, okay? Number 6. Timmy Birch You ready over there? Almost! You ready, Timmy? Timmy! Confined to a wheelchair and boasting quite a limited vocabulary, Timmy has a solid case for being South Park's most controversial secondary character, which is saying something. At first glance, Timmy comes across as a crude collection of disability traits but he also subverts these stereotypes and is treated as an equal by the other children. South Park might mock the way people react to Timmy, but the character isn't actually the joke. Along with spawning numerous catchphrases, Timmy continues to be a highlight whenever he makes an appearance. Timmy! Number 5. Jerome Chef McElroy Hello there, children! Hey, Chef! What do you do when you can't rely on your teachers for words of wisdom? Turn to the school cafeteria cook. 
For the show's best 10 seasons, Chef acts as the voice of reason, or something close to it. Sure, he may break into song a lot about his favorite topic, but at least he actually offers some sort of advice. He also cooks fantastic meals and composes future Alanis Morissette songs, which is more than a little impressive. South Park was never quite the same after his passing, which just serves as a testament to Chef's brilliance. No! Chef! Ah! Number 4. Tweak Tweak I can't take that kind of pressure! No, sweet Jesus, please! Perpetually on the verge of a panic attack, Tweak doesn't exactly exude positivity. But that hasn't stopped the kid from becoming one of South Park's standout secondary characters. When not unwittingly aiding Cartman during one of his schemes, Tweak can be found hanging out with Craig. Initially introduced as enemies, Tweak and Craig eventually form such a close friendship that the town becomes convinced they're dating. While it isn't true at first, Tweak and Craig steadily embrace the idea and start to date, becoming one of South Park's most endearing couples. Thank you, Craig. Number 3. Herbert Garrison Children, did you say hi to Mr. Twig? Hi, boys, how are you? How to even begin describing such a complex character? Mr. Garrison has multiple personalities, often communicates through puppets, dated a man named Mr. Slave, and succeeded in becoming the 45th President of the United States. In Season 9, he undergoes a sex change and spends the next few years as Janet Garrison, before regrowing a penis. Whether adopting atheism or taking a stand against Canadian immigrants, Mr. Garrison tends to take everything to its absolute extreme. As one of South Park's most eccentric personalities, Mr. Garrison is unpredictable, irreverent, and a riot. But damn it, I understand there's a bunch of Canadians here and I'm gonna do something about it! Number 2. Randy Marsh But if we don't treat the internet with the respect that it deserves, Stan's father is a walking contradiction, but in the most entertaining way. On the one hand, he has a doctorate in geology, so he must be reasonably smart. On the other, he microwaves his genitalia in the hopes of contracting cancer and scoring legal marijuana. His naivete and selfishness drive the plot forward in quite a number of episodes, with the character often playing a significant role in the cartoon's darkest or strangest moments. South Park is primarily about the boys, but nobody steals the spotlight quite like Randy Marsh. I thought this was America! Huh? Isn't this America? Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Here, Stan. This is for you. Block you! Bad, Wendy. It's listed in order from cutest to ugliest. Clyde's number one. Me? I'm the cutest? And then Token, and then me. I swear, on my mother's life, I don't care what you said about Black Panther. Goodbye. Is this problem under control? I handled it, Mayor. Gee whiz. What? When you get out of the water, you need to dry off right away to avoid catching a cold. That's why Tally says, don't forget to bring a towel. Number one, Leopold Butter Stotch. Butter! Well, that's me! South Park's unofficial fifth main character, Butters underwent a gradual rather than meteoric rise to fame, culminating in the character temporarily replacing Kenny in season six. Unlike virtually every other elementary student on the show, Butters actually behaves like a pretty regular kid. Because he isn't as cynical or as assertive as the likes of Cartman and Stan, Butters tends to be the butt of many jokes and attracts the attention of bullies. But if pushed too hard, he also has the potential to snap and plot sweet revenge even if his schemes never quite come to fruition. Prepare for the greatest supervillain you've ever seen, Professor Chaos! You guys, we have hours of South Park content curated for you by us into playlist format. So be sure to binge that if you haven't already gotten your South Park fix, okay? And be sure to hit that like button because I need you to respect my authority!